action. Since we've been learning about things that fly and flying machines, we're going to read about Violet the Pilot by Steve Brian. This is Violet and her dog, Orville. Everyone in town knew that Violet Van Winkle was a little different. For starters, she and her parents lived in an odd-looking house next to the junkyard her father managed. And while other girls were playing with dolls and tea sets, Violet played with monkey wrenches and needle-nose pliers. The older she got, the more interesting Violet's creations became. Around the time she turned eight, she was building elaborate machines from scratch. And not just any old machine. Flying machines. Her parents couldn't believe their eyes when they saw Violet zoom by for the first time. They were a little worried in the beginning, in the beginning but they quickly saw that she was a pretty good pilot. Careful not to hit the house, Violet's father would yell, and put on a sweater, her mother would add. Violet used anything she could find in the junkyard to make her wonderful contraptions. There was the tub bubbler and the microcopter, the rocket cam, the pogo plane, the slide glider, and the wing of a jig to name a few. Violet's engineering was pretty sound. The only real hazards were tall trees, piles of junk in the yard, and bugs in her teeth. Then, one day, Violet noticed a poster in the drugstore window. Air show, October 20th, it read. That's only two weeks away, Violet thought. Can kids fly in the show? Is a homemade aircraft allowed? That night, Violet saw in her room, sat in her room, thinking about the air show. She knew it would be a good feeling if one of her planes won a prize. And maybe then, the kids at school would be nice to her. Violet pictured exactly where she would hang her blue ribbon. She and Orville spent the next few days combing the junkyard for just the right materials. When they had collected a giant pile of stuff, the building began. One day, the Mulrooney twins came, happened to pass by. Look, it's that girl from school. One of them said, what are you doing? Weirdo, I'm building an airplane, she told them. The twins exploded in laughter. Then they mumbled something mean as they walked away. Orville barked at the boys, but Violet went, just went back to her project. Take it easy, buddy, she said. We're too busy to worry about them. Finally, after days of hard work, Violet had finished making her flying machine. She named the magnificent new craft the Hornet. Wait till the people in the grandstand see me flying this, Violet said to Orville. The test flight was a success. On the day of the big show, Violet took off. Bursting with excitement, her parents' faces had beamed with pride when they wished her luck, and she thought about the, that as she flew through the cloud, clear autumn sky. She calculated that the trip would take about 20 minutes. She would arrive just in time for the start of the show. Suddenly, something caught Violet's eyes. In the river below, a group of people were waving frantically. Violet lowered her altitude to get a better look. A troop of Boy Scouts had run into trouble while canoeing. Violet knew she had to help fast. It wasn't easy rescuing all the boys, but Violet piloted the Hornet with careful precision. Saving the Scoutmaster from going over the falls was particularly dangerous. Violet dropped the Grateful Scouts off at the hospital. Then she checked her watch, 3.30. She said to Orville, sadly, we've missed the air show. She turned her plane toward the home 
and sighed. It was a miserable feeling. That evening, Violet had no appetite for dinner. She just went upstairs and sat on her bed. All of a sudden, she heard lots of noise outside the house. She and Orba went to the window and discovered that a crowd of people had gathered. Somebody spotted her. There's Violet, the boy shouted jubilantly. There's our hero. The Van Winkles stepped outside, squinting from all the flashbulbs that were popping. The press, the mayor, the fire, and police chiefs. Even kids and chief teachers from school had all learned of the rescue that day and had come to praise her. Young lady, please accept this medal of valor as a token of our gratitude and esteem, said the mayor. And he gave Orville a new collar with a license that read, K-9 Hero. From that day on, Violet's parents let her fly whenever she wanted. But her mom still made her wear a sweater.